is part of my slow motion series where I'm showing, I'm knitting things at regular speed. My producer is slowing it way down for visual learners. If you'd like to see the entire slow motion playlist, just click the little I in the upper right hand corner. Um, right now I have the basics in there, but I've been getting requests for more videos and this was one of the requests that I got. I'm happy to do it. Kitchener Stitch is a way of grafting stitches together so that there's no seam on the inside of the outside and it looks just like knitting. It's what we use in the toes of socks and I'm going to demonstrate on this little sock toe that I've knit up here. If you'd like to see my regular speed kitchen stitch Kitchener Stitch video, just click the little I in the upper right hand corner, that will be there also. But for this, I'm going to work the, kitchen, the setup stitches, the Kitchener Stitch, and the ending stitches, and I'm also going to add some voice over this one so that you know exactly what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and do it. First, I get everything up close to the tips of the needles. And the first two stitches I'm going to do are setup stitches. Go in as if to purl on the front needle. Leave that stitch on the needle. Then go in as if to knit on the back needle. Also leaving that stitch on. Now we start the sequence. It's four stitch sequence. Front needle, go in as if to knit, and slide that stitch off. Then go in as if to purl on the next stitch. Back needle, go in as if to purl, and slide that stitch off, then go in as if to knit on the next stitch, leaving that one on. The sequence I tell myself is knit off purl, purl off knit. Front needle, knit off Purl, back needle, purl, off, knit. And then after you finish the four stitch sequence, you can give it a tug, tighten everything up. Knit, off, purl, purl, off, knit. keeping everything below the needles and tug. Knit, off, purl, Purl, off, knit. And tug. And remove the fuzz. Knit. 
knit off purl purl off knit And with these last two stitches, just knit off and purl off. Tighten everything up. And you can really pull on that end, provided your yarn is strong enough to tighten everything up a bit more. And there's the finished Kitchener stitch. It would benefit from a little more straightening out. And that's it, Kitchener Stitch Slow-Mo. I hope that helps.